to the building, y'all gonna see this fit. So today I have on some Nick Owens. I have on some pretty little thing, oversized jeans. Uh, this shirt is from Shein, so it's bees and keeping it natural. Let's get to the show. Kari, 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 Kari. <laughs> stop, y'all. Let me stop. Hi, y'all. Welcome to the. <laughs> I'm playing too much. Hey y'all, welcome to the Girls Room Podcast. My name is Zakari, and today we're going to be talking about body image in 2022. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so let's rewind. Today I wanted to introduce myself as well because this is my first episode, and today I'm going to be bringing my best friend along, Lynn, and we're just going to be talking about like body image and how the social media and all the uh, and men and everything is just like affecting the way that women view themselves when we shouldn't even care about that we shouldn't we should just love ourselves in our own skin but yeah so um let's get this party started if y'all hear anybody in the background that's my boyfriend and he don't know how to listen because i told him to shut the fuck up <laughs> anyways <laughs> bleed that out Okay, so, um, yeah, we're just going to introduce my best friend, Lynn. Woo! Woo, woo, woo. All right, y'all, this is my dog, Lynn. In for the win. Yo, yo, what you got on? So, I have on some pollen ones. Okay, on okay, period. Fit. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. I have on these jeans from She This top is actually from you. Okay. <laughs> Um, jewelry, let's get into it. Yeah. Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. Yeah. 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 And yeah, hair by me. Period. Yeah, that's all Yeah. get body shamed if you got your body done literally so you literally can't win with nothing that you do yeah why do you think that why do you think do you think it's worse because of social media i mean everyone knows that it's worse because of social media yeah honestly but what what is your what is your opinion like do you have body image issues because of what you see on the internet and what are those things that make you feel if you do have insecurities about your body? um yeah, because, you know, it just seems like everybody's always comparing their bodies, like, and also, it's not even just social media, even in music, all you hear is about, all you hear is rappers saying, I want a girl with a big butt and a flat stomach, but it's like, that's not even realistic, and then there's women who are going out, you know, risking their lives to get BBLs, yeah, which you, is, you know what I mean, that. you could die for that just for and what? And y'all, it's expensive too. To please men. In the days about so, well, some not shaming BBLs because some of them look good, but it's yeah. just like I, I'm not getting it. Some people though, they do be saying like it's for themselves, but yeah. I'm like that still stems from like you, yeah, like, to be what like, you saw on social, social media, media and men in the past basically making you feel insecure about your body. Right. So, so let me tell you guys about the quote that I, and the reason why I chose this quote. So um my friend told me that he didn't really understand the quote because he said that like white women also have like body image issues as well and the reason why i chose that one is because i feel like black women 
body image issues are worse because when you think of a black woman or when a man thinks of a black woman they think of the woman that having like a big butt yeah like a curvy body like a, bo titty. a bottle and then it's like since yeah. black women have <laughs> black women have that like uh standard when you don't have that as a black woman it's like damn it i'm not woman enough or like my especially in the black community Imagine being skinny in the black community. Like, yeah. they make you feel so bad. Or not having bad. a butt, period. If yeah, you don't have they a make butt. you feel so bad. You got, they be like, oh, you need to eat more. Or, um, like, it just make you feel bad about being skinny. But one thing I can say is I feel like white people appreciate my body more than black people. Right. Okay. Like, when I, because I work at a dental office, so I see all type of different people. Mm -hmm. When white women come in, they're like, oh my God, I love your figure. Like, you're snatch, you're this, you're that. But it's like when I get around my family, they be like, damn, you need to eat more. Like, what's up with you? Like, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They don't really say it as much because, you know, your girl got a little bit of curves now. But, like, growing up, I used to be like, damn, I'm skinny as fuck. Like, I can't gain no weight. Like, and that's crazy, mm -hmm. like, the difference. So, I really feel like it's even bigger, like you said, for black women. Woman, because of that. Because yeah. when you think of, or you see us on there, it's like we always curvy. Or if we're an actor, we always curvy in yeah. a bit. Right, always curvy. Crunch. But I'm even, but it's like also that. the other way. Like I've heard, like I have a cousin who's like a little bigger. Like she had, she's always had curves. Um, and like her mom would always be like, oh, you need to eat less. Like you're you're gaining too much weight. So I feel like we just yeah. can't win. Like we even when big women they want to be small, with yeah. like uh. Skinny girls, you want You always want the opposite of uh, like, like, yeah. It's like no nobody good. really likes their body because there's so many standards, fake ass standards, and comparisons. Honestly, I feel like we're not even supposed to be seeing all of this. We should not have this many options, and we should not be seeing all these different people. Like this shit is crazy. I, I know because it's like on social media, it's like uh okay. So let me tie into this. If I see a YouTuber now. Like, versus when they started, like, if they're, like, a big YouTuber and they're African-American, nine times out of ten, they're going to have their body nice. Yeah. And every time they have, like, an interview or something like that, or, like, if they give a video on why they're doing it, it's like, oh, it's for myself, I can be happy for myself. And I'm like, so no, what is making you happy about yourself that, like, like that you're not happy with your body? Because you're seeing other females that have it and they're making it seem like it's easy and stuff like that. Because you know who shocked me? Uh, what's her name? Is it China? Uh, is it China? What's that girl's um that girl? She's um dark skinned, she be dancing. Yes. She got her body done. No. She got her body done. No. And I always had to, Shy got a good body though. I know. That's I was crazy. very shocked when I saw that. Not I'm not gonna you know huh? We not bad. Yeah, she just got her body done. I didn't know either. But I'm like not not for her for doing that, but it's just like I was very shocked when she got her. I'm like, damn, like they got her too. But yeah, like, I feel like once you start to get some clout it's like they feel like they have to fit an image which is crazy but yeah but i mean and again with tying into body image because you can get your body done i don't i'm not really against it i just right. think that's crazy that, that uh, like getting your body done is it's so popular normal. yeah and it's it's, it's people yeah. you fresh out of high school they get on that plane and, you know, and get, get their body get done them. that's crazy Oh uh, or that one time when they were like dying and stuff. Yeah, well, all the girls were dying, or they ran out of wheelchairs. That's crazy. Like, so my body image is different. I don't want to be curvy because that's expensive, and I ain't got no BBL money. <laughs> I just want to have a slimmer um, stomach. Like everything else that's on my body, I'm cool with. But like, I just want my stomach to be snatched because when my stomach is snatched, it gives off that curviness. When I got clothes on, yeah. So that's what I want. I want to just have a slim stomach or like when the girls be like super fit because when i was younger i wasn't like skinny but i was always like muscular mm -hmm. so like i always looked like i did sports and i didn't like that because i thought that people thought that i looked like a little boy so some, i used to wear big, men are i used to wear big hoops just so people know that i am not a little boy this i'm a girl you can tell no, for i feel like mama please can i get my ears pierced like like i girl. used to do extra so i had like a pink strip of my bag like yeah <laughs> i'm a girl just please let don't get it know. <laughs> Oh, um, I can't even see if anybody's coming on here. Is anybody coming in? Hold up. How do y'all feel about this? I, I want to hear. I'm trying feedback. to figure it out. Yeah, because I want to know what y'all think. What y'all think on like uh, body images stuff like that? Um, I don't even know what else to say. Yeah, it's 
diet. It's just crazy. Working out. Do you? Yeah. What, what about? Well, my dream body is it? I like how uh, athletic bodies look. Like you can tell when a girl like goes to the gym consistently. They always have a really nice body. That's what I want. I want like the ab print, but I still want the lower body curves, but not really like you know like just you know when you grow up and you got a little curve, a little yeah. hip. That's what I want. I don't want no big butt, no big titties. I ain't never want nothing like that. That shit's not fun. Yeah, I just want that. It's literally shit. not fun. It's I, I literally hate it. Um. So, what are you guys' opinions? I need to get some feedback on what you guys think How about, do about, about that. Too. Do you want to say something? Cause people on the live ain't saying nothing. Mm, do I want to say something? Yeah. I ain't. I can't get on camera though. <laughs> a fly guy is not a fly right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I think. <laughs> no, for real. Oh, no, I'm gonna say something though. It's the same. Like me, I feel like I have to gain weight because I'm too skinny. Like I just like with me. And that's because of and the maybe the yeah, the media and yeah. social media. Yeah, yeah. yeah Cause body image just doesn't just stop at women. Yeah. At the crazy women. thing is, for white women, it's the complete opposite. White women. They grow up yeah, to be it. skinny. Like, you have to be skinny, like, model yeah, type. That's, that's what they want. But in the same breath, just like how you said, white people give you more compliments because they so want to be They want that, that yeah. They and I just find that crazy. So if I went to Cali, I would have all the dudes. Like, but some, like a black woman, she told me, she was like, uh, she's complimenting me, but she was like, you just need to gain some weight. And I was like... Oh, that's rude. That's rude. You could have yeah. kept that backhanded. Yeah, that was. Like, she was yeah. complimenting me on like my face. Like she was. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about backhanded compliments. <laughs> Make me want a backhand. Well, I've never really got oh back. Like I guess I've got one before. I got like I'm pretty for a black girl, but every, I feel like every black girl's got that compliment. I mean, yeah. Unfortunately, that, that's, that's I couldn't even. That, that don't even count. Like first of all, that's so played out. Oh, let's it's talk hard. about like how men are rude when they compliment you because I remember one time I was at work and this man like he was walking behind me and I was helping him at this uh, kiosk thing was payment and this man literally said I like the way you look in them jeans That's why would you say I don't even understand like, how you thought that was gonna be how you, you thought you made that one up you thought that was gonna be like oh okay. give me that plate and like no, like that's, that's so not good. a good compliment to that's me. Not. Like you told me that you like my butt basically and I don't even got one. And so the crazy thing fine. is y'all when men be trying to like talk to me in person and I be uncomfortable, I be trying to like not be rude because I don't want them to kill me. Like I'm dead ass. Yeah, like, I be scared because crazy. you don't know who's crazy or not. So you just have to be like, ha ha. Yeah. But low key, I be wanting to say, sir, get out of my face. Like, what? what no, you for real. And then it's like, if you say no nicely, they're going to keep coming. It's like, bro. Yeah, it's like, I literally don't want to talk to you. I literally, 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 Okay, tying back into the uh, the quote again, black women don't have the same body image problems as white women. Um, they are proud of their bodies. What else? I wanted to say something else about that. Um, tying back into like how you guys were saying like the that white women they want to be skinny and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I also don't see as many um, white influencers getting BBLs. BBLs. They don't do that. No, because like, that's this, not it's something not that like they, something they do. They do. Yeah. I'm like that's crazy that like our community is like literally. BB'd up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> BB'd up. That is you are crazy. <laughs> That's how we, like, it is not. Okay, y'all. And I know people be wanting to cancel me so fast. I don't have nothing against BBLs. I just think it's crazy that, like, so many people are so going under the knife to get their bodies done. And yes, it can be for you wanting to love yourself. I'm not saying that's not possible, but where is that coming from? Like, is it like, oh, I don't love myself. And it, but I it's also the people who are worshipped on social media. Like the oh, yeah. it girls, like the influencers. And let's talk about it girl. What is it? What is it? It girl, like is the it girl living the luxurious life and like? What they be saying on TikTok? I'm gonna be Jada Wada. <laughs> <laughs> like how do I Jada Wada? Like, and it's like no, she's the, she's like the she's it so girl pretty. based off of like social media. Yeah, but it's like, like I'm gonna say it girl has something to do with like your social media platform. Yeah, your followers. Like your, your followers. Family. What yeah. the, what is what are you posting on your page? Are you going out of town a lot? Are you 
right. getting posting money or you having a million roses put into your but the crazy thing is like people can post all that and we would never know what's really going on behind closed doors it's like oh yeah social media is just entertainment oh, like yeah. you really can't just, you heard about uh, that one, um, was it Miss America or something like that? Yeah, she killed herself. She killed herself. Mm -hmm. And I think she jumped out of a building. I said she's a brave soul. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, you never know who's going And I'm like, this is Miss America? Right. You never know. It, it, it's like, a lot of pressure. I've never been famous, but it's probably a lot of pressure. It is. Because be people just be talking shit. Just to be in the public eye. Yeah. People do be talking about crap, though. Oh, my gosh. I would just be like, but you can't lie. I ain't gonna lie. If I see like a rude comment, most of the time it's funny, so I like it. Cause it be well, funny, like you really killed my ass. Right you really did. You got me. <laughs> but everybody can't take like, it. Though. That's probably why she's told a little mouth, big nose. What does that person say? What is that? Someone comment. I need you to read it. You can be anybody you want on social media. Period. Literally, literally anybody uh, you want. Anybody you want. Kick addicts. Kick addicts. Okay. Yeah. You really could. Nobody would ever know. Just like y'all know what's going on on the left and the left, but you don't. You don't even try to fuck for yourself, you know? You don't even know. 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 But yeah. So, okay, we're going to tie this, uh, bring this back in, and this is the end of the podcast, the very first episode, y'all. It only gets better from here. Um, I'm trying to come up with like a studio and everything to be like, I'm not a studio, room. but like, you know, room. Like, like I'm going to have like a set and stuff. So that's what's coming in the future. Cause like, yeah, I just like talking and I like when people listen. So yeah. Thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> I was about to adapt you up. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dog right here. Um, give me your socials. Oh, follow me on Instagram at krill.lynn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and on TikTok, please. Yeah, I'm trying on to TikTok, y'all. I'm trying to build. She's funny and pretty. Like, what? What, what else, else do you? I mean, you know, hey, 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 pull back. Yeah, yeah, you know right. what I mean? Pull back. <laughs> Uh, yeah, follow me at Adakari. Um, all of the podcast information will also be on there because I'm going to tie that into my like personal page because my podcast is me. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Also, um, don't want to close this out before saying this. The music that you hear inside the background is a local artist. If you're in Jacksonville, her name is Tay. She's also my friend. Hey, Make sure you guys go on Apple Music and look up uh, THC, the hill. No. I forgot it. I'm such a bad person. The heartbreak cure, y'all. <laughs> Jesus. Make sure you guys tune into that. Also, I also want to shout out like a local black-owned business as well. Make sure you guys shop and the culture. They have some fly streetwear pieces. And yeah, I'm going to see if I can put like some of the stuff like to pop up on the screen and stuff so you guys can like. Or like a link or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good one. And... <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs>